As I said in my last video that I am going to show you how we can load online PDF using LangChain and in this video we are going to see how we can do that. If I open this tab here so you will see I have this PDF that I have found on this website and this is not downloaded on my system. If I want to download it I will click it here and this will get downloaded but I do not want to save it. I want to read it directly from this website. So let's do that. I'm going to import from langchain underscore community dot document loaders import online PDF loader. So whenever you want to load online PDF, you are going to use this class online PDF loader. I'm going to execute the code. Now I'll make an object of this online PDF loader and save in the variable loader. I will write here loader and then I will call this online PDF loader object. And inside this, I'm going to pass this URL. I will just copy it from here and in single or double quotes, I'm going to paste it here and you can see the URL is starting with HTTPS and this is the entire URL. And I will pass it here. Now I'm going to execute this code. Now I'll call this loader and see. So it says that this is present at this uh, memory location. And to check the content from this PDF file, which is saved in this loader, I'm going to assign this loader to a new variable data where I'm going to call load function on this loader. I will make this variable data, then I will call this loader. And from this, I will call the function load. And this will help us load this PDF file. I'm going to execute the code. Then I will print data. So it is taking some time. You can see that it is still executing. And once the execution is finished, then I will print this one. The execution is finished and I'll execute the code now. So here in the output, you can see that we are able to load this online PDF and it is starting from here and it is going all the way down and if you see so we also have this metadata here so metadata is nothing but it is telling us where this PDF file temporary location is so this is a temporary location and then this is the entire content of this PDF file and if you want to check the type of this data so you will just write here type of data and this is going to be a list and then to look it in a nice way I'm going to print this index print then data at zero index and then I will call this page content that I also did in my previous video so this is this one you have to copy it from here and you have to paste it here and then execute this line of code so now you will see this pdf in a much more cleaner way and if you you if you want you can compare it with the actual one so here you will see this is starting from here a vkk and uh, you will see it here a vkk and then all the details are given about this theorem and if I go to the last line then we have this last line here is on page number 8 I guess and the 11th reference number is 11 and if I check the last line of this PDF so it is also same on page number 8 reference number 11 where we have this bang ZZ and Zafran and if you look at here, here also you will see we have this Bang, ZZ and then Zafran. So we were able to load this online PDF. This is how you can load any PDF from online. You don't need to download it in your machine. You can simply 
call this function online PDF loader and then you will be able to download it and use it for your further analysis or any app development. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.